Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm sharing with you the sixth update, my 2024 project pan. I'm actually having to film this video about a week earlier than would have been ideal, just in terms of the way my schedule's working out and the commitments I've got next weekend. So I wasn't quite sure that it was going to, if it was that little bit earlier, if it was going to be that exciting of an update, but actually it, it's definitely quite a good one. Um, there's a couple of products leaving the project, there's a couple of products that really significant progress has been made on so yeah although it's a little bit shorter between the last update and this one than normal we've still hit some good goals still made some good progress and i'm excited to share it with you so let's get on into it we'll start with the makeup items at the last update my foundation was finished it left the project and I said at that update I thought my concealer was about to be cut open and I suspected once it was cut open because it was quite a runny product that there wasn't going to be that much left to actually use. So it did get cut open quite quickly after I filmed the last update. Once I cut it open there was actually more product there than I thought there was going to be at that point so I was a little bit daunted but we have finished it. It's cut open and it is empty, so this is my Kiehl's eye cream slash concealer. It's in my inventory as a concealer, so we're counting it as a concealer empty, and I am so, so pleased to say that this is done. I really didn't like it that much, but you can't actually buy it anymore, so there's not really much point in me reviewing the product. Basically updating you to say this has been cut open, it has been finished, it will be in my empties for quarter three, and I'm so glad to see the back of it. So, so glad I put it in this project, and I can finally say it is out of my collection. For my blush, I have a usage goal on this. Between the last day and this update, I used it 11 times, which takes me to 64 uses in total. My aim is to use it 100 times, so I've got another 36 to go before we have hit the goal. As I think I've said the last couple of updates now, I am less and less convinced that we're really going to see Pan in another 36 uses. Like, if I've used it 64 times, we're near enough two thirds of the way through it. We'll see what happens. I would love to see Pan. I still really like the blush. I've got it on today. I think it's really pretty. I'm enjoying using it. It is a massive, massive pan of blush and I knew that going into this but I did think, you know, as much as it is huge that it was maybe not going to be as deep because it's such a big surface area but obviously not the case. I think I've, I've stickered over the bottom of this but I think there's about 8 grams or something in here. I knew it was a really, really ambitious one going into it but I'm really pleased to have had as much use of it as I've had so far this year and happy to keep using it and get the 100 uses but not convinced at this point that there's going to be a pan to show by the end. The next product to discuss is my highlight, the star product of this project. This has moved visually every single month which has been really exciting. Unfortunately because it's been kind of pinky and I think the box is also kind of pinky, I'm not actually sure that it shows as much on camera as in the naked eye. It's as if the camera sort of blurs it all into one which is a little bit frustrating. At the last update I had product left here, here and in this corner and I said I thought maybe another three updates, one to clear along this edge, one to clear along that edge and one to clear what's in the corner. However, between the last update and now I have cleared off this edge and most of this edge so it really is just what's left in this corner at this point. So I don't know, I don't know if this is over ambitious but I am actually hoping this might be out at the next update which would just be incredibly exciting. I've had a highlight in my project pan for the last number of years but I've never actually finished one. You know I'd hit pan in this one before it was in this project from being in a previous project but I've never actually finished a full-size powder highlight before so this will be 
my first ever one it'll have taken two project pans to do i am really excited if it's not at the next update it will definitely be at the update after but i'm quite hopeful fingers crossed for the next update for this to be finished and leaving And the last remaining makeup item in the project is my lip gloss. Now this has also got exciting. I said in the last update I didn't think I was too near needing the stopper out. However, it got to a point about two weeks after that that I really was getting nothing out. So the stopper is now gone. What I suspected was that when I took the stopper out there was going to be loads of product. And because it's quite a thick product there was going to be a lot to still get through. And that's absolutely the case. Once I've taken the stopper out, it's like it's new again. What I definitely had noticed was because less and less was coming out, I was getting like a sheerer and sheerer coverage or pigment every time I used this. But using it now with the stopper out and the brush like able to be coated again, I'm back to a very sort of full opacity um, lip gloss. So I don't know if you guys can see how thick what comes out is now and that's what it looks like in the in the tube. There's still a lot of product left and because it is big and it's especially now that the opening is huge I am not going to be travelling with this anymore so this is just going to live at home. I had been taking it in and out of work and using it during the day when it got quite kind of sheer and quite work appropriate really. It's now definitely going to be back to being something that I only use when I'm getting ready at home so that might slow the usage down a little bit but yeah we'll see. It's got oils and things in it so when I actually started this project because this was quite a messy product at full opacity I was really using it more as a nighttime lip treatment so I'm probably really going to have to go back to that using it as a treatment rather than a lip gloss to get through it but yeah I finally feel like we've seen a bit of movement on this and now that the stopper is out you know it has quite significant windowing on it there's still a lot of product down at the bottom there it's thick it doesn't take a lot to get a full coverage with it so I'm still not sure that it'll be necessarily finished by the end of this project but certainly it feels like a nice boost what's happened between the last update and now <laughs> At the last update I took my Red Ken anti-snap hair product out and replaced it with this. So this is Little Mini from Virtue. We are weighing this product and when I introduced this at the last update it weighed 15 grams. My hope is to get this out by the next update. So I'm giving myself two updates for this and then I want to rotate another mini in. I'm actually hoping that I might manage three by the end of this project. So fingers crossed we shall see. I've only used 5 grams so I've got this down from 15 grams to 10 grams however what I would say is that does include the packaging and when I used this this morning I did notice I'm really having to sort of scrunch down and to really squeeze the bottle to get product out so I don't think there's actually that much product left in here so I'm hoping it is still realistic to think this could be out by the next update. Another product I'm hoping will be out by the next update is my Origins Facial Spray. This is where we are, it's from here down, that's all that's left. I think possibly if I had been filming this update next week as opposed to this week that this might have actually been out by the end of August update. However, not to be, had to film it a little bit early so I will have this going into September but hopefully I think it's realistic to think this could be done by the next update you know there's no reason that shouldn't happen so looking forward to getting this one out soon as well my next product is my beauty patty foot cream so at the last update I said this was weighing in at 36 grams. I then said if I could reduce that by 6 grams for each of the 5 remaining updates that would definitely get me finished by the end of the year because surely 
the packaging should account for at least six if not more grams so the aim is six grams and update but i've actually smashed that this update i've used seven grams so gold star for me this at this update is now down to weighing 29 grams And the penultimate product to update you on, number eight of the nine that are remaining for this update, is my Guerlain, Mon Guerlain shower gel. And this is finished. So this is leaving the project today. Really, really pleased with that progress. I did say in the last update, I thought it might have been this update, but it might have been the update after. But I put the foot on the accelerator with this one and managed to get it used up. Yesterday was my last use, so I literally used it just in time to finish this today. And yeah, I'm so glad that this is going to be in my empties. And the last product to update you on is the corresponding perfume to that shower gel. So this is my Mon Guerlain perfume. At the last update I said I knew this wasn't going to be done for this update, there was far too much product left, but I was hoping it might be done by the next update because I have now managed to use it just to a point that it's just below this um, kind of jutting out bit of the, the bottle shape. So what's left here now, this bottle starts to curve in, so I am hoping, you know, if you look at that, when it's flat it's really not that much product so I am fingers crossed hopeful that I can finish this by the next update if it's not out by the next update it'll definitely be out by the update after so I'm not worried about it either way So that is everything for this update, two products leaving, seven remaining in the project. I think next month we'll see another couple going so it's all getting to that very exciting point in a year long project where you really start to see the progress. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!